Hey you guys, it's Peter and welcome to my channel, Peter. Boom, 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 boom. Bam, 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 bam. Slow motion. Review stuff. And I am back for another crumble cookie review. And today I'm only reviewing one cookie. <laughs> Psych! No, I'm actually, I'm reviewing four cookies today, but let me tell you what they did. Hold on a second, let me get, uh, let me get a uh, thumbnail first of all. I'm gonna do it just the box this time. <laughs> I'm gonna be like, all these crumble cookies. So, they were very confused about how to fit four cookies in a four cookie box. So she was like, they won't fit in there. <laughs> I was like, okay. So she, I said, I only ordered one box. So she said, well, they won't fit in there. So she handed me this box, which apparently there's only, there's not really that much room for <laughs> this cookie. And so I got these cookies and then I got uh, <laughs> this cookie right here, which I'm just gonna take and I'm just gonna put it in the other box. So they <laughs> cut. I mean, they do I kind of, they kind of overlap, but like it's whatever, you know? So, these are the cookies for this week. There were like only four new ones, and then they have the chocolate chip, and then they had the pink sugar cookie. So, let's get into it. Are you guys ready? I'm so ready. I don't know why, like, this one looks really good to me, but I feel like I've, I kind of feel like I have reviewed all of these before. I don't know why. Definitely this chocolate one, the Buckeye Brownie. Let's just start with that. So, the Buckeye Brownie, this is what it's supposed to look like. And it says, a decadent, you guys know I love that word because my Aunt Kathy used to always have her decadent chocolate cake at Christmas. A decadent treat with layers of chocolate brownie, Buckeye peanut butter, and a smothering of melted semi-sweet chocolate. Now, I know I've reviewed this one before. I don't remember what rating I gave it, but I love Buckeye, the, the cookies at Christmas time. Or is it just a cookie at Christmas time? Christmas time, maybe it's all times, but anyway, maybe it's all times the world but I love those uh, Buckeye cookies but y'all know I don't really like brownies so much so we're gonna try this but I do love peanut butter so much <laughs> mm. I have <laughs> lots of paper towels today because <laughs> I forgot that I gotten some oh wow <laughs> disappeared um that is delicious that tastes exactly like it tastes like a buckeye cookie but like with a like underneath like with a brownie underneath it like if it was like on top of like a little bit of brownie and i don't even actually here let me try my i got this from starbucks it's so good you guys this is the grande iced sugar cookie almond milk latte Christmas is beginning to look a lot like Christmas. So yeah, I like this. Is it my favorite? No, y'all know I don't really care for the chocolate cookies as much, but I would give this, I'm gonna give it a solid four. I would get it again. Like if I was at a party and I was gonna have two cookies, I would get this again, it's good. All right, I think maybe the only one I haven't tried is the strawberry one. So let's try her next, here she is. The strawberry cake, and it says a warm strawberry and vanilla cookie swirled with a fresh strawberry cream cheese frosting and a sprinkling of delicate white chocolate curls. <laughs> Look at these curls. <laughs> okay, let's try this cookie. This looks so good. Now, this is a Peter Mon cookie right here. Okay, let's try this. Mmm. Mm -mm. The frosting is real strawberry. I don't care for it. And it tastes... God, it reminds me of something. I don't know how to explain it. It reminds me of like... Uh, it's real strawberry. It's very, very sweet and very, very strawberry. I, I don't like it. Um, oh, I'm kind of disappointed. I was really excited about this cookie. It looks pretty. I think my husband will like it because he loves like, you know, the frosting and the cookies and stuff like that, but it's really strawberry tasting. I'm gonna, I'm gonna, you guys, I'm gonna give it a two. Yeah, I don't really care for the frosting. Mm-mm. 
Not my favorite. Oh, I was kind of disappointed in that. I was excited about that. Okay. I think, like, if the frosting wasn't as sugary. Okay. This is the only way I can explain it. This is going to sound totally corny. Do y'all remember strawberry shortcake dolls back in the day? And how they smelled like strawberry, but they smelled fake? Like, that tastes like strawberry, but it tastes like fake strawberry to me. If that makes sense. I don't know. Anyway. Okay. Oh, I don't think I've reviewed this cookie ever before. And this is the chocolate pumpkin cheesecake. And it says, a jar chocolate cookie filled with cookies and cream. Ooh, that sounds good. With cookies and cream pieces, then layered with pumpkin spice cheesecake frosting and a splash of cookies and cream crumbs. Oh my God, it sounds so delicious. So this is what she looks like. Let's try it. This is interesting, okay, because this is a cookie that I would say, like, why would you put this on a chocolate cookie, okay? What is it called? Cho because it's chocolate pumpkin cheesecake. But I would be like, why would you not put the pumpkin, ch pumpkin cheesecake on a sugar cookie? And you know I don't really like the chocolate cookies, but this really works somehow. This is delicious, you guys. This is unbelievable. This literally feels like I'm eating a piece of cheesecake at the Cheesecake Factory and like the crust is like chocolate Oreo. And like the top, it, it's, it, the top is like pumpkin cheesecake. You guys, it is really, really good. Oh my God. That one is I'm gonna give it a five. That was delicious. Yeah, that was absolutely delicious. Okay, and our last cookie of the week is the cookie butter white chip. I'm almost positive I reviewed this before, but it says a warm cookie butter cookie packed with cookie butter pieces and creamy white chips. And this is what it looks like. Oh, and I think this is like one of those Biscoff cookies that you get like on the airplane. You guys know what I'm talking about? Oh, look at that. Okay, well, I shouldn't have eaten that first, should I? Because now, you know, it's going to really affect my, my taste buds when I'm reviewing the cookie. Okay, here we go. Mm. This is dreamy. This is dreamy. Whip her back up into the microwave a couple times. Get her a little, you know, soft and gooey, 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 warm. That is delicious. That tastes like a softer, warmer version of like the Biscoff cookies or whatever they're called, you know. They have that peanut butter stuff like that now too. Like they have Nutella, but they have it like for that Biscoff stuff. Oh my God. It's delicious. I am going to give that a five star as well. I could eat those every day. Those are delicious. The cookie, the cookie butter ones. Oh my God, I love cookie butter so much. But anyway, so those are the cookies for the week. Let me know what you guys think in the comment section below. Did you get your cookies? Which were your favorites? I saw while I was in there, one woman got a one cookie and it was a sugar cookie. And another woman got a four pack and they were all chocolate chips. And I was like, uh, you're so boring. <laughs> Why don't you adventure out a little bit into the world of crumble? Anyway, let me know what you guys think about all of that in the comment section below. I love you guys and I will see you tomorrow. Bye.